I'm Rhonda Steffens and this is Rihanna and she has spinal muscular atrophy. My name is Kyle Knopes. I come from Janesville, Wisconsin, United States, and I'm now in Qingdao, China. Where am I? I'm in China. <laughs> Looking for the one little hope that we have to make my baby's life a little longer. We found out about the stem cells over here from another family from Janesville, which is my hometown. He has SMA as well. He's only four years old. He's walking now with a walker. And so my grandparents heard about that, told us about it. We checked into it. And it was a few weeks later we found out we were accepted. Um, we saw the little news clip about a boy that had been from Wisconsin yeah. back in November. And I started looking into it and I asked her neurologist and her pediatrician what they thought of it. And of course the neurologist never said anything. Of course, you know, they can't. And the pediatrician told me, you know, I can't tell you yes or no, but here's how you go about raising money. So, and he was really excited to see her when she comes back. Well, when we mentioned it to our doctors, my doctor at home, she said she couldn't voice her opinion one way or the other. But she gave me a brochure or an article about a boy who developed tumors after injections. You know, so right there she kind of told me what her opinion on it was but we knew that this is something we had to at least try. And if it does nothing, then that's okay. But if it works, then even better. SMA is a genetic neuromuscular disorder and it like deteriorates the muscles in my body. It's a progressive neuro, uh, neuromuscular disease. Yeah. It works in the same form as Lou Gehrig's or ALS. I have SMA type two. There are three types, but really each type has a thousand different types inside of it. And SMA type two is the second most severe, type three being the least severe. I was diagnosed at 18 months old, but I've had it since birth. She was born with it, but we didn't find it until yeah. about two weeks before she turned two. Yeah. yeah. How old is she? Three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> In recent years, it's been quicker than earlier, but I'd say it hasn't changed much within the past two years or so. Um, usually type two, which she has. Expected life range is 25 to 30. By the time she was 14 months old, I could stand her up behind a toy and she could make about four steps. And then it just went backwards from there. Probably starting school, noticing that I was different than everybody else. Well, I do physical therapy at school and I was on experimental, experimental medication last winter, I think, for six months. But I didn't notice any difference, so I stopped taking the medicine because I was losing my hair. Bad. It was valproic acid, which they use for seizures, I think. But it's been thought that it may help with SMA. Nothing, palliative care. That's it. Hey, yeah. They have a few research medications in the United States, and we tried those, which are fine for the babies with the feeding tubes. She couldn't tolerate taking it. She couldn't swallow it. Rancid, nasty, yeah. Well, you have to look at where she stays because I'm a single parent, I have to work. Yeah. She, um, my mother and my aunt keep her through the week, yeah. which is a good thing. Or she, she used to go to daycare and she caught every little bug that came by and was sick. And every time she gets sick, she gets a little weaker. And, yeah. and like I said before, she can't do anything for herself. So yeah. we just have to, we make it, don't we baby? Yeah. She has a motorized wheelchair at home, so she gets yeah. outside with her puppies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anything, if it just, mm -hmm. it kept her where she was. Uh -huh. Excuse uh -huh. you. <laughs> I was happy with that. You know, it was just mm -hmm. searching for that little piece of hope. And I mean, nobody ever said it would be a miracle or a cure, so. And I have been very pleased with what we've seen, huh? <laughs> no. I mean, it, we knew it was a possibility but we didn't want to think of it that way. We thought anything to help as long as we can, you know, more like posture and that kind of stuff instead of not walking. Get her quality of life a little better. She, she had a real weak cough and she has problems coughing up just side and strainage out of her throat. And she's always been a abdomen breather and I've been watching her at night and she's starting to use her chest muscles more too. So. posture. I like to sit up so I'm not slouched over like I am right now. 
or continued up, upper body strength mainly? Oh, just anything to slow the progression of the disease would be a miracle in itself. And then we were never expecting to see her get any better, and she's made several improvements since we've been here. Holding her where she's at, that was all I asked for. And I mean, she said improvements, which we were never ever supposed to see. Uh, we were going to have seven, but then once we got here, we decided to get eight, so we bought another one. And I'm having all IVs, umbilical cord stem cells, and I've had six so far. Um, I have a metal rod in my back, so they said they couldn't do the spinals with me. After my first injection, I rolled on to my right side from my back, which I haven't done since I was six. Then in therapy, we tried it the other way, to the left side. And I now do that like 20 times per therapy. I have Tom, and he does a lot of stretching in my hands, wrists, um, legs, and then we'll do rolling after that. So and it's a lot more physical than back in the States. Even the stretching is... Well, at first, the, we were just rolling to show him that it could do it. Then I asked him about like my posture and sitting up straight, if there's anything we could do to work on that. And the doctor said, since I'm rolling, my back muscles have already developed or got, gotten stronger. So she said rolling would be a good exercise even to work on for my posture. So we do it every day on a daily basis, both ways. I mean, I've tried at home, but I haven't gone anywhere. And right before we came here, we went to the doctor in Madison, Wisconsin. And she, we tried rolling didn't go anywhere. She has, she's had her fifth one, she gets her last one today. She gets PT twice a day, OT once a day, which is the electric wave and the acupuncture, which she has been really good at. Huh? Yeah, and the standing therapy in the mornings. The language barrier is very, very, is very tolerable. I mean, you have somebody yeah. there to help you all the time. Yeah. Huh? Everybody's been super sweet, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, who was that? She makes, who, make, who do you make carry you places? Is it Wendy? Yeah. <laughs> who is it? Wendy. Wendy. She makes her, I want you. <laughs> she gives her the big, I want you. So, but we like them all. They've all helped us a lot. She does, she does really good considering she's three. She, um, she cries when they put them in. I even have a picture of her sleeping with the needles in. <laughs> But she's done really good. She lay there real still like a big girl. Huh. But she don't like them. She says, I don't want the needles. <laughs> yeah, she's been through so many different things with doctors and examinations and little tests and stuff that she, she does really well with this kind of stuff anyway. Um, she showed just a little after the first one and then the second one she showed to be a little stronger in her legs again. Yeah. And it just... With each one, we saw something different. Yeah. Uh -huh. You like that microphone? Yeah, mom. <laughs> and you. And you. Really, really big. Just even my arms are stronger. Um, my neck is stronger. Doesn't get as tired easily. My jaw is stronger. So like when I'm eating, I'm not as fatigued really. Um, my right arm straightens more and both my knees straight. Oh, Friday will be 30 days. <laughs> so we've been here... Two days. How days? Two days? Two no, I think about 26. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, and she is able to stand on her own again with no braces. They told us that she has third degree power strength in her arms, which is almost normal. She can pick her head up on her own again and don't have to hold it up quite as much has better head control. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> She's trying to crawl again. So there's just several little improvements along the way. That's been great. And she can just sit here and do it all day now. <laughs> <laughs> she can stand up along the furniture and take little steps. Yeah. No. Do good. He wants to take a picture of you standing up. Stand up so bad. Hold on, 
as poor as it looks. <laughs> yeah, but that's nothing. She had to have rices from here down to do this. Yay! Good job! I'll see you. Well, when I get home in six months, I'm going to go back to the same doctor and we're going to do the same tests to see if anything has changed, which we already noticed has, and just how much, you know. I know what I was able to do before I got here, and I know what I can do now. So I don't think that it would be possible for me just to talk myself into rolling over or into eating a whole meal without, you know, getting fatigued. So, well, it has been crazy, but I would definitely come back. Hopefully we can go somewhere a little closer next time, but if this was our only option, I would come back. To make this little trip was nothing compared to, you know, to me, you're a parent. It's your job to take care of them. And if it takes 30 days, that's nothing.